Okay, so I'm going to use um, watercolor paper. It's an 8x8. It's a hot press finish, which means it is smooth. It doesn't have um, that teeth texture. So that's what I'm choosing to use. I also have a variety of paint brushes, a 6, a 2, another 6. I don't know why I have so many of the same sizes, but for some reason I just grab um, what I like to use. Water, paper towel. Um, these are my favorite pencils to sketch with sketch with. I don't know why. Um, it doesn't have eraser, so I gotta make sure I have my eraser. And my other favorite pen, which is not waterproof, is the Precise V5 Extra Fine. So, um, this I can't really use if I'm painting, but I just like to have it. And then, again, black colored pencils, another my favorite, but this is watercolor, so again, I can't use this because it will smear. So, let me get things set and then we'll get started with our first. So I'm going to start off with candy corn, even though I said, don't worry about going in order. There is no order. Um, I'm still going to start off with that at the beginning. So again, I have my paints. I don't, I got to grab a plate once I get there to paint with. Um, obviously candy corn is um, orange, yellow, and white. So that's what I'm gonna be using on my candy corn. Okay, so go grab your art supplies and join me as we draw our candy corn. And I'm doing a cute version like always. So, um, and I don't want a heavy pencil line because I do wanna be able to erase this. Candy corns are usually very rounded edge in the triangle. I think I'm going to do two. I always have to look back on candy corn to figure out which one is in what. I have already researched in my notes because I know, <laughs> I'm not forgetting, remember that? White, orange, yellow. I think you could change it and no one would know. I mean, I think we eat candy corn, but we're not always exact on our, um, you know, color because, I, again, I never remember. I'm going to add some cute little legs and arms. I think I'm gonna add that at the end with one of my black drawing pens. So first we're gonna get this painted. So let me go grab my plate. Okay, styrofoam, it's great because it's um, it won't bleed into the plate and I really don't need that much. And this is the um, Turner brand, which is not super expensive, but not super cheap. I don't know. It's a really good brand. I felt like I've really liked it over the years and I've used it to paint on multiple types of um, material wood I've painted on with it. Okay. I'm gonna go with my round. I think this is a four. Because this this is a six. This has to be a four. The, it's all kind of chipped off. Again, white is at the top. I'm still gonna use white just to give it the same texture as the other two. <sighs> This is where it's important that I always talk about in our classroom, Tippy and not messing up his hair because if this paintbrush's hair was all, as we say, bad hair day, I could not use it like this where I, I put it down and that's where I want the paint to go in that little tiny place. So taking care of our brushes is important if you want them to do their job correctly. And with gouache, I want a little water to get it um, to be able to move. Okay. There's my two candy corn friends. So 
this does have to dry um, before I add anything on top completely. I may go back because I'm pretty sure the white is getting almost dry. Make sure I get my brush clean and add a little more white on top of my um, green candy corn. And really it's not that big of a difference if I don't want to, but since I have the time, I'm gonna make sure all my green paint's off. So while that's drying, now my steps to give the little detail, I have a few options. So I could use a very fine, and I would even say smaller than that, brush with my black paint and add the details. I'm not sure if I'm doing that because my hand's not quite there yet. I feel like I'm a little bit still shaky. Um, could use a permanent marker to add these details, but I don't, I feel like the it's too thick. It would, I don't want the thick lines, but it is an option. Um, what I love is this extra fine pen, but I don't know if it'll bleed over that. This is a 0 0.5. This is water and fade resistant, so that is an option. Um, I could use colored pencil. So I'm not quite sure. And if I'm not quite sure what I can do is while that's drying, I can do a little practice. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna get my sketchbook, flip it, I can just didn't notice I was playing around just practicing and seeing what I want to do um I forgot my favorite thing is um black ink and my dip pen I love adding details on top of the gouache with that so I wanted to do pink cheeks I was kind of playing with pink paint and um color pencil so I really didn't find I think the pink paint lightened up with some white is what I'm gonna end up using. I'm just gently trying to get my pencil lines. <sighs> this is why I like pencils best, because if I paint it over it, it's stuck there. <sighs> okay. Oh man, Let's see, gotta be careful. That ink on my hand. It's only about ink is if it drips or drops or anything, then it's a mess. Okay. I'm not quite sure which little look I'm going for. Like I said, I've kind of practiced and researched the little doodles in my sketchbook, so I'm just gonna flip through that and see. Okay, and again, this ink is, I always like to put it on my plate just in case it does spill or drip, because. That is not a mess you want to deal with. Wish me luck. I always want to do the left one first because I'm right-handed. So if I do the right one first and then I put my arm in it, it's going to, again, make a mess. So I'm going to outline it. Okay, this ink has to dry. I don't wanna add the cheeks yet just cause I don't wanna smear it since I've already gotten black ink over here. Um, I go ahead and make sure I close that and wash my hands cause you can see it's on my hands and I don't wanna smear it. So this is gonna dry and then we'll be adding our last details quickly. Okay, our last step, let's see. I know the mouth is not completely dry. I still see it shining at me. Um, to get this pink on his little cheeks. Again, I've just taken some of the mixing white and the pink. Okay. 
So there's my little candy corn. Um, I've already went and signed my name. So when this completely dries, I'm actually gonna scan it um, on the scanner into my computer because um, I could clean up these little places that I messed up. Um, and again, I hope you enjoyed our first drawing through October. Again, don't feel free to feel free to jump around. You don't have to stick with me um, and what order I'm going in. I may go in the order of what the list, I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. Thank you.